We have now come to find January 6th was a Democrat hoax the whole time. Now, we all already knew that. I'm speaking to the choir. I'm preaching to the people who are already coming to church regularly. But the radical left kept saying, January 6th was an insurrection. They tried to take over the whole government. First of all, you can't take over the government by going into the Capitol. Second of all, it'd be the only insurrection where nobody was armed. Third of all, the people causing the trouble were doing that before Trump's speech ended. Hmm, ever heard of wolves in sheep's clothing? Ever heard of the Boston Tea Party? Well, did Antifa forget to wake up that day and go to the Capitol? All it takes is 20 Antifa members among 300,000 people, smash a window, break a bottle, do this. And now it's like, oh, that's what all 300,000 did. Look, we're not stupid. And it's been exposed and the radical left is crying big time. I want you to see January 6th, how crazy and scary it was when the shaman, the crazy Instagram scary guy was led around by police, walking in between them. Nobody arrested him. Nobody grabbed him. That's not very violent. This conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show that Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us into the building. Contrast the reality of what Jacob Chansley did in the Capitol building on January 6th. Now we know that what he did was not terrorism. It was not violent. He's walking around. Nobody held a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. No one pepper sprayed him, handcuffed him. You didn't even have to George Floyd the guy. He was peacefully walking around taking a tour. He was a tourist in a costume from Burning Man. That is not a revolution. That is not an insurrection. The radical left has lied to you, and it really hurts my feelings that you keep voting Democrats in office every time because you're that manipulated by the media. It just shows the work I'm doing here is not reaching enough eyeballs. Be sure to share my page, share this podcast.